sir. It's Katie Jackson with Florida Fish and Wildlife. I think I missed a call from you about a sighting potentially. Okay. I typically describe their mouth about the size of a garage. And they kind of come up to the surface and they just keep okay. going and yeah. going and it's their it's their width that's really impressive. They're much bigger than our small boat for sure. <laughs> Any direction of movement? Okay. Um, so I'll just read that back. I'm Katie Jackson with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission right whale program and um, I'm responsible for coordinating the aerial surveys that we fly for right whales during the winter. Correct. Thank you. Bye. So right whales are about 50 to 60 feet long and they're black and they may have a patch of white on their belly, but most just have black bellies. Um, they're a very girthy animal, so they have a thick muscle layer and a thick blubber layer that helps keep them warm in the cooler waters up north. And they have callosities on the top of their head, and it's kind of a white barnacle looking substance, but they're not barnacles, they're actually um, just roughened skin, like a, you would get a callus on your hand. And um, on that lives some small crustaceans called whale lice that are white. It's really the whale lice that make it stand out so well against their black skin. And uh, we photograph that callosity pattern on the whale, which is unique to each whale, and that's how we conduct photo ID. Well, in the southeast, you know, we've been flying surveys on and off since the 1980s. There's only two times that whales have been actually observed giving birth. Um, one was observed by the New England Aquarium several years back, um, and that was offshore of Jacksonville. And then um, the second one was observed actually very far offshore. It was just offshore of where we normally fly our surveys. When the calves are born, they're very clean looking, is the easiest way to describe it. Um, they almost don't look real, you know, they just kind of maybe look like a rubber whale. <laughs> like they just, they don't have anything that makes them look like they've lived, you know, for any period of time. And they're quite uncoordinated, um, you know, the calf. Swimming is kind of a very uncoordinated thing for a newborn animal which I guess makes a lot of sense when you're just introduced to an aquatic environment. You know, you haven't been swimming yet. They got to learn how to do that real fast. As the calves get older, they, they pick up little scratches and their skin starts to kind of evolve as they're growing. It changes texture and things like that. It has been really warm this year um, and we've had 68 whales so far to date, so we're almost at the end of February. Um, and we only have six mother calf pairs, which is really low. So calving hasn't been this low in the last decade. You gotta go back to the late 90s um, to find calving that's this low. Um, I'm not worried. I don't know if worried, I'm, I'm bummed. <laughs> um, you know, I sort of believe that they're, just because they're not here, I believe they're someplace else. So, um, and it's, it's an interesting research perspective, um, just as it was interesting that we started to get this big influx of juveniles for the last several years. You know, hundreds of animals hadn't been observed here um, prior to that. So, it's kind of, just a change and right whales are a very long-lived species so changes happen for them over a very long period of time and so you know we're looking at such a small snapshot of their lives at, to this point you know you really have to look on kind of a decade long scale to get any idea of what's going on with right whales and so we're working on that what we know is still only a small portion of a right whale's life. This could just be a normal fluctuation. You know, there's a lot, so, so much research, but so much that's still unknown.